Hi friends, how are you? In this small lecture, I will show you how you can download any file from the internet in your c -sharp applications and showing a progress with that download. So let's start together. I will create a new project a new Visual C Sharp Windows Run application and name it Download File Progress and let's set the path OK, click OK to create the project Now I will add a text box for the input URL that you are going to download the file from add a label let's call this the URL and this is text box URL and I will add a button the download button very simple button down and let's add a background worker that will run in the background to download our file and add a progress bar to show our progress this is the progress bar and a label to show the percentage of our download let's set this label now to zero percent and this label per progress and this is the progress bar very nice and we need the target file path so I will add a text box now this text box will hold the target file or the target file path where you want to save the file you enter your file name here very simple okay so this is my form let's do some basic changes center screen and set it to fix tool window and that's it let's move this here very nice now what i will do is when i click on the download button the background worker will run and start downloading my file before I run the background I will set the enable property to false so to avoid multiple clicks so the background worker will fail and let's go to the background worker and go to the end or completed event and set it here to true and show a message box download completed very simple now we want to implement the background worker code here where you are going to download the file to save time and to make things easy for you I created a method that will handle everything for you let's paste the method then I will explain it in brief and boom this is the method let's somehow read it it's simple somehow the first thing i will do is to create an integer called bytes processed this will indicate how many bytes are downloaded from that file i will create a remote stream a local stream and a web response object that will read that file from the download link this download method takes four parameters the download link which is the file the url of the file you want to download we have a target path where you want to save this file you set the file path and you add a progress bar and the label progress of course you can alter the method as you want now i set them here in the parameters you can add them inside the method if you want but in this way it's somehow general and you can use directly in your application this progress bar will show the progress and this label will show the percentage as a label okay so i created a request and i got the download link request if the request is not null then we have a file now the first thing I will do is to get the total file size of that URL 
So this web request here will create a new request and read the content length of this file so I can get the file size. Then I will use the remote stream to get the response. And here is the tar target path where I want to save the file in my computer. And then I create the file using the local stream. When I create the first time, it will be about it will be zero kilobytes or zero bytes. Then we will start looping through the remote stream and writing that buffer into the local stream. So it will download the file one by one, byte by byte, until it reaches the end. And in each iteration, we will calculate the percentage. It's somehow simple. We will multiply the total bytes received by 100 and divide the bytes in with that number so we get the percentage and we will update the progress bar with that percentage using the invoke method so we can update it safely and avoid the cross thread operations and update the label and that's it then finally we will close all the streams and so on i think it's somehow simple Let's now test this. I will call this method inside the background worker. Here is the download link. I want the text box URL.txt. This is the download link. Then I have target path. It is in the file path text box also. Then I have the progress bar and the label progress. Very simple. Now let's test our application. Let's run it. I will set a file path as an example for d test.jpg. This is an example of downloading an image. I will paste now a test URL from Pixel's website. It is a download link for an image. And let's click on download. Boom. And awesome, as you can see, the download finished and we had the progress inside the progress bar. Very nice. So that's it. This is how you can create your own file downloader with showing the progress using C Sharp Windows Forms application. Thank you for following. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to like the video and to press on the bell for notifications. You can also view our other lectures. Thank you and see you in other videos.